Let's see children now, what do you mean by slope? Now we all are aware that uh, a line when presented in slope intercept form, line when presented in slope intercept form is given by y is equals to mx plus c. We all are aware, right? I have given in, in detail explanation in equation of line. So still, only to make you understand once again, what is the concept of slope? Over there also we have done, here also I'll give you. When I say y is equal to mx plus c, we all are aware that m is nothing but slope. Where m is nothing but a slope. That means every single line, those who want that what is x and c, let me tell you that also. x is nothing but my variable. x is nothing but my variable. And c is nothing but my y-intercept. c is nothing but my y-intercept. Everything is what I have given in-depth explanation in equation of line. Where I have given you what are the different types of lines, right? Standard lines, inclined lines, everything is mentioned to you. Coming back here, we are here to understand what is a slope. So whether the line is a standard line or an inclined line, every single line has slope. Every single line has slope. So what is the way to find out slope? What is the formula for slope? What is the formula for slope? Say this is what a coordinate axis is. Say this is what an inclined line is. Say this is what an inclined line is. Don't you think so that this particular line is making some kind of angle with x-axis theta? This is my x-axis. It is this inclined line making an angle theta with, right? The answer is such inclined line will always have some kind of slope. This inclined line will have some kind of slope and I intend to find out what is slope. Slope is nothing but, slope is nothing but 10 theta. Slope is nothing but 10 theta. Let me write down over here. Slope is nothing but designated by letter M. Designated by letter M is nothing but 10 theta. So said exactly how to find out slope. Say for instance, say for instance, given to me that this particular line makes an angle of 30 degree. Given to me that this particular line makes an angle of 30 degree. Say for instance, then I shall write down here 10, 30 and 10, 30 is nothing but 1 by root 3. Say for instance, this is 60 degree. I shall say 10, 60, which is root 3. I hope my children are understanding this. Right? So slope of a particular line is nothing but tan theta. Are you getting me? Now, if you are asking that, sir, how did this particular thing came? Right? So let's understand this. There is one more formula for slope. So let me first write down that formula for slope as slope is also given by slope is also given by m is equals to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. Slope is also given by y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. Now make, let me make you understand how this particular formula came. Say this is my coordinate axis. Right? Given to me that there are two points. Don't you think so that this particular point will have some kind of coordinate? Indeed. This particular point will have some kind of coordinate? Yes. What I shall do is, I shall draw a line parallel to x-axis passing through this point. I shall draw a line parallel to y-axis passing through this particular point. I was supposed to find out slope of the line passing through these two points. So what did I do? So I intend to find out the slope of this particular line. I intend to find out the slope of this particular line. There were two points given to me. Right? I drew a line parallel to x-axis. I drew a line parallel to y-axis. Let this be the point of intersection. Then, if you, are, if you are remembering, in distance formula, we have, we have done that in order to find out the distance between two points parallel to x-axis is given by x2 minus x1. Distance between two points parallel to y-axis is given by y2 minus y1. 
is this the angle made by this particular line with line parallel to x-axis so even this theta and this theta are the same why because the lines are parallel mind you so if i want to find out if i want to find out the slope if i want to find out the slope of this line where the coordinates are given to you are uh, given to me and not the theta here the theta was given to me here the coordinates will be given to me so what is 10 theta if i apply if i apply the basic formula slope is slope m is nothing but 10 theta 10 of an angle so what is 10 theta over here opposite upon adjacent 10 theta is opposite what is opposite y2 minus y1 adjacent x2 minus x1 this is how we came into this particular formula so how many formula uh, we have for slope we have two formulas for slope one is slope is 10 theta one is slope is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 now the question arises question arises when to use what very simple if i know uh, if theta is being given to us if theta is given to us 0 30 45 60 90 mind you standard angle should be given to us i can make use of 10 theta now if you want that standard angles given to us then you should remember this also mind you you should remember this also what are the values tan 0 is 0 tan 30 is 1 by root 3 tan 60 is root 3 tan 45 is 1 and tan 90 is not defined nd not defined nd not defined are you getting me right so if somebody asks me that what is slow uh, what is the value of slope if theta is known to me i shall simply say slope is nothing but 10 theta 10 of the given angle and if somebody tells me the coordinates of two points likewise one and two say let this is be a and this be b whose coordinates are known to us then what which formula may i should i make use of i should make use of y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 children can i write down the same thing as y1 minus y2 upon x1 minus x2 indeed yes i explained you this in distance formula those who have those who have doubt that how this y2 minus y1 can be written as x2 minus uh, sorry y1 minus y2 upon x1 minus x2 i have an answer for that so we will write down and we will by heart this one y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 but i'm saying that even this can be written as y1 minus y2 upon x1 minus x2 how let's see i'll make you understand this y2 minus y1 can be written as y1 minus y2 with a minus sign outside math says a minus b can be written as b minus a with a minus sign outside x2 minus x1 can also be written as got it so y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 is what the actual formula is how we how it came we derived it but at the same time if you want you can also write down only care needs to be taken that above if you say 1 minus 2 the below also it should be 1 minus 2 you cannot say 2 minus 1 what i'm talking is y2 minus y1 x2 minus x1 y1 minus y2 x1 minus x2 you cannot write down 1 2 2 1 or vice versa are you getting me children right now all important question very important question what is the slope of x-axis and y-axis what is the slope of x-axis and y-axis this is x-axis this is y-axis slope of x-axis slope of x-axis zero what makes you say that sir what angle does x-axis makes with itself what angle does x-axis makes with itself zero degree so tan zero is zero that's the reason slope of x-axis is zero what angle y-axis makes with x-axis 90 degree so the slope is not defined sir what makes you say that slope is not defined because 1090 slope is 10 theta 1090 and 1090 is not defined are you getting me children this is what you have to remember this is what you have to remember whatever i have said right there are two ways to find out slope two ways to understand slope slope is 10 theta or y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 
If angle being given, I shall make use of this. If coordinates are being given, I shall make use of this. Slope of x-axis is 0, that of y-axis is not defined. Right, children? 